Hello and welcome to the Ship to Geese podcast number 42. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 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 to join us. I'm Druid. <laughs> Alright, you guys want to start? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Of the Shifty Geek Podcast. My name is Luis, aka Spartan Sloth. <laughs> He's gonna fucking kill yeah. you. You sound so Brazilian. I can't do a Brazilian accent. I've tried. It's hard. Try it. Go on, do it. But yeah, I'm actually TJ1023. Luis isn't here this week because he sucks. I'm TDB Tyler. And I'm Dr. Sparks. I'm Druid. I'm Sunny ADD. You two again? It's always. You two seem to be on every podcast with each other. I'm starting to we're, sense a conspiracy. We're, so, we're soulmates. Yeah, every Pod podcast buddies. Sonny's been on. Mm. Sonny's been on every single one with Druid. You guys are like the best of friends. <laughs> yeah. Just pod right. buddies? Well, we, well, we just didn't... It's all we we're going to say. We just we have our own personal lives to keep, you know. Oh, one, of these, one of these days, one of you is going to come on by yourself, and you're going to pretty much cheat on the other. <gasps> you can, you can hear, you're gonna hear like I can't live living this without you. <laughs> it is bizarre though. I mean I think Druid, you've been on some without Sonny, right? Yes. Sonny has had every single one with you. That's interesting. At least you guys have good podcasts together. <laughs> I mean like I'm I'm I see myself as his mentor in a way then. Wink wink. <laughs> So oh, you're teach taking me a wise one. Position. Oh god. He's gonna teach you the art of assassination. I always ja- know that. If you stab someone with a syringe with has some air in it, you can cause the person to look like they had a heart attack. Oh nice. Good <laughs> Well enough. actually, just, just any old syringe. That. It doesn't matter what's in it. It has to have air in it. That it could needs, probably it needs kill to, somebody. You yeah, know, that's the point. If it has air in it, it causes basically it get, goes into blood and just it causes like the uh, the heart to just it reacts badly to like the fact there's no blood to pump or something. Yeah, like that. I think it's called like and a just, pulmonary embolism. An embolism, yeah, yes. Like TJ knows all about syringes. Well, my mom's a nurse, so I thought you were gonna say you know, know, I, know I, I know some things. I do know some things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, what is that? <laughs> Did you John know Snow. nothing, John Snow. John Snow. John Snow. 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 What have we Don't become? cry, pretty boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've got that all off our chest. <laughs> it's just all our jokes out right now. All right, podcast over. Good job, guys. Yeah, well played. Awesome. How about some mini pizzas for everybody? Yeah, TJ, give us a fucking mini pizza. We waited 10 yeah. minutes for those. Share. I ate them all. Sharing is caring. I mean, you can send I them by UPS. download a mini pizza. I, I would we... download a mini pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I want to download a car. <laughs> to explain to the audience, we, we all got here super early and then TJ come in and he was like, oh, I'm making pizza, I'll be right back. To and be fair, I, like, warned you, I warned you, on, I sent a message on Skype, it's not my fault you didn't read it. Yeah, did you not read the message saying that I won't be on Skype, I'm signing off so I can be on the podcast and that you know where to find me? <laughs> I didn't read that far, that far well, back. <laughs> I said what we I'm have signing here off. It's a failure to communicate. Which is difficult, considering we literally message each other on Skype. Well, TJ. I didn't expect... I sent the message, and then I looked up, and I'm like, oh, Tyler's offline. Uh, maybe he's yeah. not really offline. I don't play that shitty game that of mean? fake offline. <laughs> fight, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. I always find it confusing when people do the fake offline thing, where they're like, they're, they're hiding from someone, but they're online and talking to you. It's like, great, they, so they I have no idea it. when you're there. <laughs> they usually do they it care. to avoid, like, one person. That's the point. Just like, block I used that to do one that on person. Xbox all the time. Mm. Like, um, if I wanted to play a game by myself, and I knew I had a friend who was just going to, like, ask me with messages and invites, I was going to be like, nope, offline. Those kids are so Skyrim. annoying. Oh my gosh. They are. Yeah. If you don't like <laughs> your friends, why are they your friends? I've deleted most of those. <laughs> yeah, you guys have friends. Yeah, we're that all like, friends. Yeah, and you're not one of them. Oh my god! Oh, TJ, you still have me, 
Yeah, I. But you're a soulmate. You're more. <laughs> Podcast Go buddies your forever. <laughs> yeah. So what? What's everyone been doing this week then? In the in the worlds of your lives. Uh, I've been doing Work. a lot of school and then Destiny. That's, yeah. that's pretty much it. So when's that expansion pack coming out for Destiny? Was it the Dark Below? Uh, sometime in December. I don't know. I haven't bought it yet because I have no monies. Ah, yes, the no monies. But like, are you getting pretty psyched or? No, nope, because if I get excited for it, what's the point? I won't. I won't get most of the stuff that comes with it. <laughs> I'm gonna get True. excited for something I can't get. Well, Would they you... add story? Um, theoretically. I'd... The way they explain the expansion pack is like they are going to add one thing from each sort of different compartment of the game. It's like one story, I think one story thing, one PvP uh, thing, and three one. Story missions, um, one new strike for Xbox One, two new strikes for PlayStation, and then like three new maps for multiplayer, and then four new maps for PlayStation. Because fuck Xbox. God. That's essentially what Activision and Bungie said to us Xbox people. They hate us. Yeah, I think Wonderful. we've discussed this before, haven't we? Yeah. Where, we, I don't want to go on another rant. It, yeah, that rant was solid. Like, I, I'm surprised that they would do that, but PlayStation were playing smart. You know, they've decided they know how to fuck with the Xbox players. We will you take, take the thing that you company. love and destroy yeah. it. We're going to use the thing that made you guys huge. <laughs> I. Oh my god, I hope they don't build up towards that. Like, I hope um, PlayStation doesn't try to buy away Bungie and then, like, just, I don't know, make the rest of the Destiny games PlayStation exclusives. I would just quit. I that would suck. They, that, that would suck, but I think they could also use that in the, their advantage. Like, they would say, oh, oh yeah, we're going to make it an exclusive just to get Microsoft to pay for it, if you know what I mean. Because they will pay a lot of money to keep Destiny. Nah, I don't think they will. I think they will. How many people bought Destiny? It's like a bestseller. Yeah, a lot of people. And a lot of people who hate it still play it, including me. Yeah, that's <laughs> the confusing part. I hear everybody bitching about how like it's not uh, story-wise, but the gameplay is great, so I guess that's why people that's, still play it. Yeah. The gameplay is solid. If this game, they keep the same exact gameplay, and they just, you know, do literally everything else that they should have done in the first one, They'll be they'll be fine. It'll be like, like going a story. Through, yeah, like a story and non repetitive missions and <laughs> you know, more than one highly paid voice actor. I really Dude. love the uh the analogy Bernie did. It's sort of like I was like, I'm just gonna keep bitching bitching and moaning about this game that I haven't I haven't stopped playing for the past forty eight hours. Yeah. yeah. I it literally all the time. literally all I do while I play it is complain about it while I'm playing it. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah. Hey, you know, I wish they did this thing. Oh, well, I'm still playing it because <laughs> it's hard and stuff. That's that's the thing that makes me laugh about people that hate... You know when, like, YouTube changes something, when they update, or uh, Facebook, especially fucking Facebook. This is one of the reasons why I stopped using it. Loads of people complain when there's a change or something different happens, and they complain about it all the time. Yet, when that change happens again, because there's always another one, they they're the same people yeah. complaining. And it's like, well, because if it's that bad, by then the, leave. By the time those people <laughs> get used to it, it's, it's like it's changed again. But yeah. I haven't seen much change in Facebook because I don't really use it for anything other than like keeping up with high school friends, old high school friends. I only use it for <clears> one purpose now, which kind of stalking. sucks. Porn. Wow, wow, you two went dark. No, like, I actually do a little bit of work for another website. That's the only reason why I go back on oh. there every month. Facebook? You're cheating on us, Tyler. That's not Let's cheating on you. I was with them before you. I'm essentially cheating on them with you guys. Plus, you gotta commit. You gotta commit. Plus, you yeah, wouldn't commit even all your heart. <laughs> you're a slut. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you're you're nice. a man whore. I'm the best man whore. The social Fancy media man whore. Gosh, this is yeah. free. Or... I, I do have one thing that I complain about. I hate. I'm. It's okay, I guess, when they change something, and after a while you realize, oh, that's actually a lot easier. But when yeah. they change something for no reason, and it takes like a year to figure it out, and I'm gonna use a big example is they recently updated iTunes, and yeah. um, they used to have the um. <clears throat> 
they used to have the auto or the uh, shuffle button right next to the repeat button. So you could just oh, yeah. shuffle your playlist and repeat, set the playlist on repeat. They just combined those into one button. So I spent half an hour looking around in iTunes trying to figure out where the freaking repeat button was. I'm like, why is this so hard? Where is it? I can't find it. Damn you. <laughs> then I finally Damn found it. Damn you. <laughs> why would they combine it into one button? They they took the symbol for the um the shuffle button and you have to like right click on it to um get and then you have like this list of options and one of the options is uh repeat playlist. Got them. Oh, that's so. dumb. That is dumb. Instead of they instead of made, just pressing like, two buttons, they're like, "Oh, now you just have to press two buttons. Right click, scroll through this thing, click this thing." Yeah. Do you know what that reminds me of? Literally everything hey. in Windows 8.1. <laughs> Literally everything. It is the worst thing I've had to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had to Windows get 8 Windows was the worst 8. thing I had to deal with. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I hope that Windows 8 is worse than Windows 8.1 because obviously it's it's fixed some improvements. But I had to go from 7 to 8.1 and there is so much shit that I wish wasn't on it. It's like, why is this here? Really? What? it's Why is the start menu gone? Why the fuck would they get rid of that? That was they frustrating. Made... Uh, every time I go there, it sends me to that slidey screen and I'm like, I don't fucking want this. I want my goddamn start menu. It was so <laughs> much easier to use. Why is that gone <laughs> yeah that's one of the reasons i'm very cautious when it comes to updates like um the new operating system for max have has come out called yosemite and on my um imac which oh, is God. more powerful than my laptop i'm still using like the operating system from like two updates ago because yeah. i don't want to learn a new operating system it sucks plus i don't want to spend like the three hours downloading it that also sucks <laughs> Like I work in support, but it's really funny that like um some uh, company got upgraded like their operating system to Windows 8 uh, without telling us, and they start complaining, and it was just, and then all of a sudden we had to install this mod onto the the system that changed the UI to old Windows 7 stuff. It's one of those things where like that is probably the worst operating system, like the most frustrating one to deal with on an actual desktop because you it's perfect for a tablet. Like my dad has a Microsoft Surface, and it's beautiful mm. on that. But on an actual machine, it is so frustrating because you're just used to like the start button and going to certain things, but you have to still use that slidey, weirdy menu thing. Yeah, going. yeah, they're they're trying to like a unified like UI for mobile and um, whatever. Anything Microsoft does, yeah. But like they're they're pretty much trying to make everything the exact same thing, which I think is mm. kind of stupid because some things work better on other things. Yeah, like the Windows 10 apparently is coming out for the Xbox One, which is weird. Oh, fuck that shit. See, that's when you know you're doing something wrong, when your computer stuff is coming out for the gaming console. Oh my god, speaking of gaming console operating systems, the Xbox One is so stupid compared to the 360. Like, if I could just take my 360 and, you know, give it the specs of the Xbox One, I would rather do that than deal with the xbox one's um dashboard like there's some parts of it that are a little helpful like you don't have to quit your game to go to the dashboard that that would be useful in um the xbox 360 but considering how slow everything is and how like you have to snap like your party and all this other stuff just to use it you can't just press the guide button go to party you know you have to oh i have to snap it and now my screen is over here and it's shorter and it's smaller they took something that was Sounds more, obnoxious. They took something that they spent years developing because they kept updating the Xbox 360's um <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a breath. <laughs> they kept they kept <laughs> long ran is long. Uh they kept updating the Xbox 360's user interface over the years. You know, they went from the blades to the guide to the boxy guide. And, you know, more or less it worked pretty well. And then they're like, okay, we have this new console coming out. How can we screw this up? Every way possible. <laughs> I don't much. think that was their uh, mindset, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you remember how many people were complaining when the Xbox Free Checks, uh, Free Checks, the 360 changed from the uh, blades to the boxes? Do you remember how many people were complaining about that? And the boxes were good. I actually like the fucking boxes. <laughs> oh yeah, I I like boxes. It's there just... was a lot of people that weren't used to change and were complaining straight away. 
the problem, the pro- the reason I think they complain straight away is because it was slow. Like every time they come out with a new operating system, it's always like ten times slower oh, yeah. until they just cut down the lines of code that they used to make it, and then it gets faster. So hopefully that's mm. what happens with the Xbox One. You know, it becomes a hundred times faster considering it's got eight gigabytes of memory. <laughs> you know, should be faster. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, be much faster. Not slower. Can I rant Let's about see. something? Which is sure, why not? well, we. I mean, this we're is all a, ranting about. This is changes. ranting time. Okay. I, I think I, I think I'm taking the ranting time from everybody else. I'll just shut <laughs> up now. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but um, as many of you may know, my laptop died probably about three weeks ago. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, but I had to get a new one, and it had to be with Windows 8.1. So when I'm complaining uh, about changes, it isn't something that I can just drop and replace with something else. Because if I could use Macs right now, I fucking would. Can I just complain that no. for some unknown reason, the cursor on this machine keeps on freezing every time I type? So you may think, oh, so it freezes, like, you know, while I'm typing. Why do you need to use a cursor while you're typing? No. 20 seconds after typing something, and it could be for three seconds for like uh, writing a note about something perhaps, or just one word, my cursor freezes. I don't know if this has anything to do with Windows 8.1, but it's driving me insane. Second thing is, my computer that has double the RAM of my old computer that's now dead, works slower. Like, I can't watch stuff on YouTube or listen to music while doing something else because the music will go stuttery. I, I just I just can't even. And TJ's wow. taking the piss out of me because I said free instead of three. I apologize. <laughs> I, I always Throwing forget to Throwing you under the bus silently. Yeah. It was in the messages. I couldn't help but see it. But I got a new computer that was double the RAM. How the fuck can it be slower? I don't understand this. <laughs> I would love to have my old computer back, but it's dead. Because Windows sucks. No. Well, Windows 7 hey. was awesome. I, I would love I'll to take get Vic's a side for on different this. reasons. <laughs> What's Vic's side? Well, I remember the old, like the old podcasts of Vic and Jim fighting about Windows and Apple. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Sparks has listened to all the podcasts, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that happened yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten. I've said this loads of times. I don't remember all the podcasts we've been on. Yeah, Even surprising I've to, to me. Them a lot. It's, it's like trying it's to remember conversa- every conversation you've had. Well, I've also like... binged in the last three months, so that makes sense. Yeah. I, I can remember three months instead of, like... 10 months i'm i'm sorry for your loss of time wasting it on our podcast <laughs> you don't say that that's quality material right there she likes it shut up tj you're ruining everything <laughs> you had one uh, job tj one job tj you're the admin here you're not supposed to be down quality in our thing saying it sucks how dare you <laughs> yeah i thought no, you were supposed to be proud it's, of this it's, it's reverse psychology you make them feel bad for us and they're like well it can't be so God, bad. now they know about the reverse right. psychology god damn it tj <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell them our secrets. One job. Oh, fuck you guys. I'm going home. You already Where, are home, probably. How do, how do you know I'm home? You don't know me? I just I had a don't know, I Maybe guessed. I got it from a back alley, dude. That's sketchy. Um, <laughs> Back alley mini pizzas. You hear back some alley dude. Mini pizzas. <laughs> you hear some dude in the background like, eh, you. <laughs> I don't even know what someone could say <laughs> to you in the back alley. Hey, you want some mini pizzas? Yeah, I didn't know where that hey, was going, Tyler. Hey, what you buying? What you <laughs> selling? Yeah, it's like yeah. he j- it's like um he makes you go into the bathroom. There's like a hole in the stall and you're like, "Oh, oh god, what's going to come through that?" Whoa. And then it's a mini pizza and you're like, "Oh, thank god." <laughs> thank god oh indeed. <laughs> thank god it's a toilet mini pizza. Oh. <laughs> Just close your eyes and suck the pizza. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Wow, this pizza sauce is bland. Can I get some mayo on that? Oh no, I'm gonna stop! <laughs> We're so close. That's not mayo. We're just moving away. Can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Damn straight, you can't believe it. Ah. Oh. Tastes so similar, though. I, I just. How does this podcast do this? Like, how, how, how does it just 
go into madness the way it does. <laughs> Skill. <laughs> ever, 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 ever since Jim sheer experience took his uh, leave of absence, we've like we've had no presence here to calm us down. We just we just go <laughs> off the rails. Wait, Jim I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, it's like Jim's the adult. Like I've well, seen Jim say some yeah. really dirty stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then he but... reins it in, weirdly enough. Yeah, <laughs> he, yeah, he is the mature one out of us. But like, he said stuff like, "He's had a strip club misadventure." Yeah, that story. was the first episode. Yeah, <laughs> that I do remember. Yeah, that was a classic. You, you so guys, I think I might even listen to that. What? It's a good one. But has anyone, uh, have you guys been keeping up with uh, Ten Little Roosters? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm very disappointed that I've failed, like, every week. Uh, not me. I'm not a I'm detective. Uh, I just... got the victims right, but the me- weapons, eh. I, I just like... served... So go ahead. No, you can go. Just for my own sanity, I stopped trying to guess and just enjoy <laughs> the ride. Because I'm just going to be like, it's going to be this, it's definitely going to be this, and it's not like that, and I'm just sort of like, I'm a failure as a person and a detective. Yeah, I, I might do that, because I was really disappointed. Like, um, I, I mean, I guess it'll be the next week by the time this comes out, so we can give spoilers for this episode, if everybody here is really? I, I haven't seen it, but then again, I haven't seen any oh. of it. Uh, I, you should really go I mean, and watch it, it's really funny. Like, it's, it's, the, it's as funny as the original shorts were. Yeah, they make references to all their shorts. I mean, I, I don't mind if you guys want to discuss it now, because, you know, spoilers for everyone else, I guess. But, like, I don't really mind. It's just that I don't see in the f- upcoming weeks any free time for myself to be able to watch it. Like, uh, after editing this, I've literally got a shit ton of work to do. <laughs> I mean, the well, thing is... Just with, be like with me and this... procrastinate. Yeah, I can't. My job is on the line. Well, not technically a job, but <laughs> oh, I, gotcha. I've, I've I've been given some information for my. Or well, in this uni, I have to do a professional project. We have to write up this massive essay, but we have to go and do it. My lecturer has helped me out so much, but he's given me some information that's just let's say uh, inspired me to actually do a ton of work, and it's involving money. So. <laughs> I'm going to be putting a lot of time and effort into my songwriting. <laughs> I can't ah, well, reveal man. details, I'm afraid, though. Aw, spoilers. Will we hear it well, in the new, like, coming weeks? Y- you months? probably... You you guys will definitely be informed when the project is done. <laughs> are you are you going to be, like, writing the new theme song for the Queen of England? Um, nice. No, is, it, is it that big? Are you it, sure? It's, it's information that I definitely can't pass on, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. What about the Duke of Wellington? <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. It sounds British. There is a Duke. Or a Baron? There. I believe there is a Baron. You're the new Batman, aren't is, you? Is he a Lord? There are all these things, but it's not that. <laughs> Did Wait, Batman Batman make his own sound are... music? Batman? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 Batman. Oh, Batman. Someone had to write Batman. that. All I'm going to say is Doctor related, and that's it. <laughs> the rest really? Of the oh, Doctor Who? Oh, I'm not discussing yay. it anymore. Oh. 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 In Doctor No. Your, your imagination Spons. can go wild. Doctor Sparks? Just kidding, no. <laughs> Doctor Sparks. <laughs> you just become like a superhero Doctor... vigilante at night. Doctor Shoe. Actually... I Doctor thought, Pooh. like, I'd make a good villain. Like, a good villain name. Yeah, he... Doctor Dr. Sparks. Dr. MD at night. <laughs> I love how Doc... I managed to distract the uh, topic at hand, by the way. <laughs> you guys were going to well, talk about the... What was the topic? Yeah. No, the, the point is, we're, we're talking about Ten Little Roosters, but I, oh, I yeah. was... The thing is, Ten Little Roosters is a mystery, like, at heart. So, like, spoiling it would ruin the whole experience, yeah. I think. Maybe we oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think people die. Like, We're nice people. Yeah. I heard there's ten little roosters in it. Is that a spoiler? Shit. Yes. <laughs> and then there were nine. And then there were yeah. eight. And then there were seven. And then there were six. I predict in and the then next one, one after that, there were five. And then there were five. Again. It's and like then Towns there were six. Salem. Then there was what? five. It's like Towns of Salem in a weird way. It is kind of like Towns yeah. of Salem. Yeah. Oh. 
I, I have to share a story on Towns of Salem. I played the Jester like a fucking boss yesterday. Oh, and have we have we talked about Town of Salem on the podcast before? I, I believe we have. Uh, but if you guys haven't played Towns of Salem, it? yeah, it's, it's not Towns of Salem. It's Town of Salem. Town, town of Salem. Then my bad. I, I apologize. <laughs> English. TJ hey, right, do it. Tyler. Damn it. I should. Yeah, because you know how to say the name, so you should explain what it is. Okay, see, you play Towns of Salem with three people. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, actually, Town of Salem, it's kind of like a... Um, it's not your normal, like, action-packed game. Uh, it's kind of like if any of you guys have ever played Trouble into Earth Town. Um, or or if you ever played yeah, mm. Mafia or Werewolf. It was yeah. like, close to Werewolf, actually. I love Werewolf. Uh, yeah, I've never played it's it. It's a good game. I trust you guys. It's a really good game. I want to play. <laughs> um, so basically... We just like do a podcast playthrough. <laughs> they're like a bunch of... Um, we should do that sometime. We should. I mean, I didn't say anything. Oh. I'm editing that out. <laughs> just just beep it out. Yeah. Just beep out, this, beep out the entire podcast. And just leave that bit in. Yeah. <laughs> just an yeah. hour or so of like, <laughs> beep. <laughs> God, that would get so many <laughs> just do more. Just do everything in Morse code. Beep, 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 beep. How long would that take to turn everything we've said into Morse code? Forever? Fucking oh ages. my god. Imagine a sentence, like, every it wouldn't do, 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 be worth a it. letter. Yeah. All right, anyway, imagine sound. doing that and then that- legally transmitting it over the way airwaves. Yeah. Some confused military would be on our case. Oh, it, it, would sound, it would be like one of those number <laughs> stations, except it's just a podcast. <laughs> Somebody translates it and they're like, why the fuck are they talking about, um, you know... Toilet pizzas and stuff. <laughs> I can't, can't believe it's not butter. What What the hell is this crap? Yeah. Just keep trying to find some code. Do, 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 you have like, do, sort of like, we do, can't do, crack do, the code. Do, do, do. Anyway. Town of Salem. <laughs> um, <laughs> town of Salem is a thing where you have a bunch of people and you're trying to, you get different factions. You have the townies, the mafia, and then you have uh, neutral killers um, who try mm-hmm. to like kill everybody. The mafia just try to kill the townies. And the townies just try to survive and lynch all of the mafia and serial killers. So it's like a murder mystery. Each person has a different role where they get different abilities. And they have different ways that they can win the game. Yeah. The whole point of it is to try and survive and try and win. And it's really cool because you have to try and like guess. It's like a whodunit. Yeah. Because definitely. you're literally asking who done it. So was it in my game? It, it went. This this is going to go down in history in my memory because I'm surprised it worked out because um, there's always one player that is the town random. Um, you guys know what that means, right? So they can be another one of the roles again. So they kind of like double what someone else is doing. So uh-huh. even if they die, no, like um, no. They're like just they spawned. located as town random. They're spawned as what someone else can be as well. So they could be oh, two okay. of them. Like two me- mediums. You get two one gyms. extra of some other role. Yeah. Which which leaves an opportunity open for like one of the mafia or oh, yeah. one of the um neutral killing guys. Like if he gets caught by an executioner, um he can <laughs> say, Oh, I'm this guy. Like, what? There are two of you and it's like, look, town random and they're like, Okay. So it goes down to the last four people. It's me, that's a jester, but I've already been called out. Like, an investigator uh, checked me out, and he openly declared that I was the fucking jester that I was trying to get voted for. So I just went with it. I was like, yeah, I'm the fucking jester. Well done, you know, fuck. I even wrote in my note at the end, um, it's pretty hard to be a jester when the investigator that everyone trusts identifies who you are and tells everyone. So I was just playing with it. Like I was like... Everyone trying to vote, you know, I'm trying to get everyone to vote for me because that's what a jester does. It gets down to the last four. And there's a town random and a mafia and someone else. I forget what the other person was. And the three of us decide to kill the town random. Like, we didn't know he was at the time. And it turns out, like... No, no, wait, sorry, I'm telling this all wrong. It's hard to fucking recall. But he Bravo. dies in the God night. Damn it, Tyler. <laughs> he dies in the night. So there's only the Mafia member left. And it turns out that he was a jester as well. He was the town random. He was the jester. 
And then the, the other two got really suspicious of me because the whole time I was saying that I was the jester, which was true. And they, they lynch me. <laughs> they vote for me to die because they think all the jesters are dead. And I die. Everyone that's dead is like, you should kill this guy. He's definitely the mafia. And like, everyone is telling me you have to kill this one guy. And I'm like, okay, then I guess I don't have much of a choice. If I go with the other guy and I'm wrong, I'm going to get crucified. Uh, the jester role can uh, kill people when they're dead. So I nice. killed the mafia member, and the mafia member in turn in the night killed the only innocent person left. So everyone thought the mafia was going to win. Turns out no one survived, and the only, <laughs> the only winner was me. <laughs> I was dead. What about the other jester? The jester was killed off. And it, it, oh, it, he was it, killed in the night. Yeah, he was killed in the night. <laughs> Did it so, say Jester 1? Yeah, Jester 1. Well, it said that, nice. it, it said that the town had tied, but it also said in the chat box that I had won. Oh. So, so it was weird. I, I would have liked to see that game. That would have been nice. It was so Mind funny you. the last night when both of them were dead. I was like, yeah, motherfucker, <laughs> lynching me. The broad <laughs> motherfucker. It was like, um, it reminds you of this one game of Werewolf. It's sim very similar rules to Town mm. of Salem. And um, we were playing a game with 22 people. So it had been going shit. on for a long, long time. And wow. we, we, had, we added in like, we have like a special character called Vampire. Where every three, turns they can, they, every three turns they can choose someone else to be turned into a vampire. Um, but if they try and turn a werewolf, um, the person doesn't turn. So they, they use that as a way to find information about other characters. And also, like, eventually we get more and more voting power so they can just start voting off people quite easily. But um, we had a one time where uh, the civilians, inverted commas, won. But um, on the turn that the, the, they, like, um, they were about to basically win, uh, he turned into a vampire and the vampires won. It was oh like my one God. of those things where, like, imagine, like, in a movie where, like, it, like after a horror movie, it's like, Every, we won. And all of a sudden, like, they just sort of turn around, no, you haven't. Like, he's, like, all of a sudden a vampire. I think my favorite uh, like game of all, like ending of all time was the second the game I think we played before that one where um, there was only three people left. You had a hunter, you had the werewolves who were basically like the like the, the mafia, and he had one innocent person. And during the night, the werewolf had killed off the hunter, and the hunter when he dies, he can choose one other person to kill. <laughs> so he had to choose who would win. And the point is, it was just like the, the arguments they were coming up with to try and convince this guy was amazing. And we were sitting on the edge of our seats the whole time. And he just shot like the werewolf and everyone just like screamed because we'd been nice. playing for three hours straight. It was awesome. I can oh imagine these people being like, oh, you, you, beep, 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 the air horns and shit. <laughs> we also had like, um, I, I taught this game on a summer camp I was staffing. And uh, we, the was all the guys came together as the Brotherhood of Justice, and they were all like, like if, and the point is they were just literally voting, like they literally just joined together and vote people out, and um, it was really funny because uh, they were all actually like sort of good characters, like for the inverted commas good guys, they weren't like the mafia or anything like that. It's hilarious that it was just like the brother, the name was actually correct. But they didn't know that they were each like good. No, right? that's 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 what made it hilarious. <laughs> So what if one of them was the werewolf? That would have been crazy. Yep. It was just, there's like, I, I play, actually, like, I, because I do a lot of, during the summer, I usually help out, like, I, I was, I do a lot of stuff for scouts, and I also help out, like, doing, running summer camps in Germany, um, that I would always end up sort of just, like, teaching these games to, like, the kid, like, these kids, and I would get these huge, massive games, of, like, 30 people, and the politics that go on there. And like it's really annoying because my um my uh, younger brother and younger sister start helping out, and they they're also like we, they also played it for like they've been playing this game for like twelve years, so the thing is they know how to play it. And my younger sister, she is just so evil that she'll just sort of gain someone's trust and then completely use it against them. And it's like it's one of those things that's like Game of Thrones esque stuff. Crazy, nice. <laughs> is teaching new people really difficult? Because sometimes they don't get the like gist right. The way I, I do it is that um, I, I go, okay, so the main character, like I start off with like maybe like I'll have one special character, like the bad guys and the good guys. So it'd be like the, like the, like, you know, the normal civilian, the werewolf and a hunter. Right, right. And then, he, then once they get that grasp of that, 
then in the next game I add in another character and then another ah. character until like it's like completely full or we run out of time. That's cool. Nice. That would be ridiculous. Like I, I've never considered playing it like live. Um, I, I've heard of Werewolf because of Table Flip, um, and they did like a few playthroughs of it, and it looks really entertaining. Uh, I even planned out like a similar game to do um, for the Shifty Keys ages ago, but like you needed six people to fucking do it, and I was like, nah, that's way too much effort to go through. Um, and it shocked me that Towns of Salem, Town of Salem, is just a new thing that's starting off now. Because it's always had, like, since I've known what uh, Werewolf was, it's had this, like, market where loads of people want to play it, but just haven't been able to get out there and do it. And, I, like, whoever thought of the idea to make it a Flash-based game... They they should be rolling in money by now, I'm sure. <laughs> so Town yeah, of Salem is for introverts. Pretty much. Like I've always we wanted to play a game like it. Yeah, that's, well, that's, I have that's friends. Not true. I, I usually only play it with friends. I don't go out and do it by myself like Tyler. I don't do it by myself either. I just play introvertedly on my own sometimes. Well, what if you only have like two or three friends? That's not enough for like a real game of Mafia or Werewolf. So then, exactly. Well, it's, 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 it met, it met, oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Like, if I don't have enough people to play it with, then it fucking blows. But Town of Salem, I don't mind playing. It has playing. like matchmaking, so you can play with like yeah. everybody. Yeah, you know, yeah. You always have 15 people. Yeah. So that's fun. Well, I think it's 15, isn't it? I can't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've. I find the the interest like it's really interesting to see the difference between like Salem and like an actual like uh, like where you're playing it around the table because oh, around yeah. the table you're trying to watch spells and you're trying because usually you know the people at the table you know ways mm. to just screw with them or you oh, like yeah. you end up having these sort of different stories but with like the town of Salem it's like it's like the essence like it's the boil down the essence of of those type of games. So you get that experience, but you don't get all these like these little tiny stories. Sometimes it's very random and stuff like that, but you do get like a lot of the fun essence of it. I just oh, yeah. prefer like um, where you have like maybe like a group of people in real life because the fact you get to know them as they go along. Like, of course, like I've done it where I've like gone starting off with a room of just people I didn't know at all. But by the end of it, like I knew loads of different stories with like everybody. <laughs> you phone well. Yeah. And you get to know their personalities and stuff. It's just like poker. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, this is, it's interesting with Town of Salem. Um, the only game I have games I've played were with Tyler and then random people. But um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we had Teamspeak still up, so we would be talking about the game while it was going on. So you had this kind of level of like communication that uh, yes, we still had communication going, but we didn't really want to kind of like tell each other what was going on so we still had that mm. um mystery but not um it physically so it's hilarious trying to figure out who the other yeah. person you're talking with because is. you like say something and you're like you're this guy aren't you and you're just like no probably when not I've, when i played it with tj's friends um i can't remember who i kept on um uh there was someone in your group that I framed big time, and I have no idea who it was. But like every single round, I was saying that like, like this guy's not to be trusted. <laughs> he, he got really mad at me. I should apologize, but like I have no idea who he is. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't I um execute you? Yeah, you motherfucker! That was you. <laughs> you fucking executed me. <laughs> he, he, everyone believed him. Everyone believed him, and I was just like, "Wait, what? No!" <laughs> I'm not sure if it was that everybody believed me, or if it was that that town, as most towns are, was very just like, "Hey, Ruthless. random lynching." Everybody just looked yeah. at each other. Yeah, random lynching. God damn it! And wow. I was like, "Whoever got me killed is a fucking asshole," and I just hear TJ in the background go. <laughs> <laughs> because i won the game i don't care if anybody knows I, I was i was pretty much immune didn't i announce like to your friends that that was me as well and you, you just went silent <laughs> for like yeah. a little while that was Gosh. a good game we should play that afterwards uh this podcast brought to you by town of salem i i yeah I, sponsor us i i desperately like i don't want to advertise them in a way for free because 
um, they're really good and they could do it on their own. But I want more people that I know to play with me. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of advertising, you know what I'm curious about? I if we actually monetized our podcast. No, I can't do I, that. No, I I don't plan on it. I was just wondering how much it would be worth because we don't get that many views. So you I don't know probably, how much it would be worth. Yeah, because my brother keeps going off about his two dollars he got on YouTube. How Ooh. many views did he get to the, for for two dollars? How many views? Like a thousand. Yeah, fuck that. Like, God. Uh, honestly, uh, we're a podcast. You're not gonna get that much money if you monetize. Honestly, because oh, I don't, I don't care. I don't. Yeah, yeah I don't care. <laughs> damn it. But I would make more money from playing poker free rolls than having the podcast go on for like a hundred episodes. So <laughs> it's one of those things where it's not worth it. It really isn't. And plus, you get a lot more fucking issues with YouTube. Like, they're much quicker to fucking counter yeah. a content ID you, so to speak. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's obnoxious. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, Tyler, you made the song? Fuck you, somebody else yeah. made it first. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to refer to, but I think I've already brought that up on a podcast. Yeah, um, you ranted about that. <laughs> yeah. My song, cause, just because it was 8-bit was uh content id'd and i was like okay then if i don't own the rights to it who else does and plus i can give you all this notation to prove that it's me <laughs> this song is 8-bit it's been played in every single nintendo game boy game ever yeah. fuck you yeah nintendo owns money. it they probably do own a lot of the 8-bit music probably yeah. be interesting to find out that's one thing i don't understand you know we were talking about change really on, early on in the podcast um Change places. There's two things that I don't understand that YouTube haven't sorted out yet, considering they update their like layout and design often. You know, sometimes I don't mind the layout changes. You know, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes it's a bit bothersome, but I won't complain about it, like openly. But what I don't understand is A, how are they not sorted out their content ID stuff? Because that needs to be fixed. Because that's starting to piss off like actual content creators, and it's pissed them off for ages, and they've done nothing about it. And yeah. the other thing, why can't they sort out their fucking YouTube comments? The, just the system. It's now. Oh yeah. It's now based on how many comments you get, not the likes. And like disliking. How many responds? Yeah, disliking does fuck all. And uh, you know, it, just go onto any popular channel where there's a troll. The troll, the troll just has to say like yeah. one word, and that's it. They they don't have to go back because they know they're going to get like a hundred comments responding to them. And funnily enough, I see a lot of comments that are responding to the troll saying stuff like "Don't respond to this." Clearly, he's a troll, and I'm like, "You've just fucking responded to it as well. You've helped you it get into troll. the top comments." Ugh. Yeah, I actually um I was watching random videos earlier today, and um. I like one of the top comments was some guy just saying, "Oh, this sucks," and then like that was from four months ago. And I look at the like, yeah. I look at the most recent reply, and it was from the same guy who posted the comment. Like, and it was like one hour ago, and I'm like, "Dude, you're still on this comment? What the fuck?" It, it's because his comment counts as the comment, uh, the comment count, so it's going to get higher on the list because there's more comments. It's yeah, but, it had like over a hundred replies, and I'm like, dude, yeah. you're still replying to this. Yeah, because it's going to be you, up there for ages. So you could theoretically get the top comments by commenting on your own comment like 10,000 times. Well, I think so. I think it needs to have some other people you would, in there. But That's yeah, ridiculous. You, you'd probably it's get nuts. like, uh, not chat ban, but like temporarily banned from commenting if it just saw you spamming. But well, I just no, don't understand like, why is it not likes and dislikes like it used to be? Like because they because want, it worked, yeah. Because they they want to push Google Plus hard. They yeah, want it to be like. Yeah. I I don't know how it helps Google Plus, but they just want like everything. It's getting to be integrated. Plus. Yeah, like when I had Your to friend, change uh, the icons to the shifty keys, I had to do it through Google Plus, and I was like, Yeah, why? <laughs> why can't I just do that on YouTube? <laughs> it's really stupid, especially since they aren't like the same shape. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a circle on plus. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to make a square logo. <laughs> like when a, a friend of mine, he actually works in Google and he says like one thing that annoys him about Google is that they will do like they will do change just for change's sake. 
not because it actually makes the, the product better, just because they need to change something. As long as I they keep the search engine that. the same. If they keep the search engine exactly the same, I'm fine with it. You well, know? Yeah. to be fair, they haven't kept it exactly the same. You know, they've added... Um, something that took me a long time to get used to was... Uh, you can... Like, it will automatically start Googling for something before you're finished, like, typing it out. It yeah, hasn't before been doing that for ages. That's what Gavin and Google is based off of. Yeah, it's been no, doing not, that for a not while. Not the autocorrect. I mean, like, it will oh. literally... Like, if you type in google and then you're going to like type in like the name of a video like google sucks balls it'll like already auto load the page and it'll be like google and oh. it'll give you the top 10 searches for google and then you finish typing oh, in that. sucks balls and then it'll give you the top 10 searches for google sucks balls so and then it will probably ban typing. your account because you know they're like google we don't suck balls fuck you <laughs> i think they got more things on their plate <laughs> do you like... mean apple sucks balls <laughs> yeah. yeah apple's apple's getting to annoy me too do you mean their Bing? changes Everybody annoys me. Everybody changes stuff for no apparent you mean reason. Yahoo? The fucking shifty keys. I mean, fucking, they annoy me so much. I mean, hi TJ. Hi Luis. What? What have Wait, we what? changed? <laughs> we're, we're still talking about random stuff and go. What have we changed? Yeah, we changed a lot. What? What have we changed that makes it harder for people to access our content? Oh, thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> Considering I made all those changes. <laughs> I, I love how that went round in full circle and confused everyone by the way yeah no i'm confused yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying we we didn't like all we did was just you know change the logo i mean who complains about like logo changes there's always some people well okay there's always somebody but not as many people as when like operating systems and usability right. user interface changes you know if we so, went out there and we like um got some new like youtube script thing that made it harder for people to use you know access our videos it would be a bit annoying wouldn't it yeah like you think people would change would be annoyed if we started um not that i'm saying this is gonna happen because you know i'm lazy we're all kind of lazy uh what if we started you know uploading uh our podcast to like itunes or something so let's not no. even go there let's not go there it's so difficult yeah, pe <laughs> pe people prefer youtube for the time being Maybe, maybe like uh, in another 200 podcasts. I mean, iTunes is okay. It's just getting our stuff on iTunes, considering we don't have another website to RSS feed it. You know what I yeah. mean? That I, I looked it up. It's pain. really hard. iTunes won't host it. They'll only like just release it. You have to like find another yeah. place to host it. Exactly. We ain't got that. And I ain't paying out for it. <laughs> Neither am I. Yeah, no. Yay. I feel sorry for Sonny, who's been here the whole time and has probably said about four sentences. I'm so sorry, Sonny. <laughs> Have we been rolling over you, Sonny? No, he's just a quiet person, right? I want to give Sonny a hug. Also, Sonny, been... are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry, Sonny. We've been <laughs> talking without you. I had nothing to add to the conversation. You sound tired. Well, it's 1 a.m. for me, so... Oh, my goodness. oh, oh yeah, you're, oh. you're an hour ahead of us. Yes, <laughs> More ahead I am. of the Americans. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's only like 7 o'clock here. It's only 5 here. Whoa, you two are weird, being in the same country yeah. and having two different times. That's scary. America's a big place, Tyler. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've been told. <laughs> not, not like your tiny little British Isle. That's adorable. Oh, Keep it's so cute. cute. At least it's convenient yes. to get from one point to another. True. <laughs> it doesn't take like nine he... hours to get out of my fucking county. Shut up, Tyler. <laughs> no, it takes it's nine only hours seven to get hours. out of the state. It's only seven <laughs> hours. It takes me three hours to get from one... drive over the speed limit. It takes me three hours to get from one side of the island to the other. It takes me less time to get into his island. <laughs> you, you know wow. Yeah, you know It takes like probably, like, what was it? Maybe an hour and a half. Uh, no, like no, no, was it no? The the boat from Ireland to Wales is, I think, maybe an hour and a half to maybe two hours. I think if I had a yacht, I could probably get to where Druid is, maybe in nine hours. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I would have to be going at it. It would be fucking hard. But like, well, yeah, like the seas are insane. But one of yeah. the sad things about where I live is that one of the ways I can tell that we're nearing like that. Like, we can drive for, like, an hour or two, and we won't even be near out of the state. But one of the ways I can tell that we're, like, out of where I the area that I live in is the mosquitoes change. 
They change what? from being Holy like normal shit. mosquitoes to like these bigger mosquitoes that Super are striped. mosquitoes. Yeah, they're bigger. They have stripes on them, and they like the sting what? hurts. It's it it hurts a lot more. Like I'm so glad I live in the desert. <laughs> like bees? No, they're not like bees, but like when they bite you, um, they don't bite you. What? No. Do they? They sting you. No, bees sting you, but like the mosquitoes, when they bite you, the after area that's right. really itchy, it's like a lot itchier, and then you scratch it, and then it gets, you know, when you scratch it, it gets worse. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, they, it's bad. I still sting, think they sting you. It's when the long, uh, elongated thing. Their mouths, those are the mouths. So yeah, like, so. They'll, they'll bite you. Yeah. yeah. But it's not really a bite. It's still actually a sting. Well, I mean, really? if it's their mouth, it's kind of a bite. I it, uh, it, semantics. I'm not a biologist. I, I know nothing about it. <laughs> you know nothing, John Snow. But Tyler, thank God we only have midges over here. Oh, fucking midges! Oh, there's thousands of them though, and they could be on your midges? pathway. Really? You're like, they're, they're... Midges, midges, uh, like gnats. Gnats, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Those yeah. things are obnoxious. It, I, I, it's wait, one thing see... like I remember. I said midgets. It's the it's the Irish way of saying it. Yeah, midges is, with is the N. same here. Midge, midges. Midge. I can type it out for you guys. But it sounds yes. like midgets. It's Mid not, no, I, I, I pronounce it. Oh, I midges. pronounce it midgets because of of the of the way I like I've been brought up here. Like in the Irish language, with the with the Irish accent, you just drop letters every once in a while for no reason. Sometimes you add, add letters. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. No thought up for you. It like oh. th that is actually pronounced like that. In, in certain areas of Ireland, ma da, it's not like the uh, or the what the fuck am I trying to say? The like Russian. Viking way of saying your father, da, da, da. or da, Russian. Da. <laughs> That's just da. Russian, yeah. Ma. Water is 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 another thing. Water, like, like the thing Water. is, I don't, I don't actually have a very strong Irish accent. I mean, in comparison. Yeah, you just really put on a facade lot of stuff. for the podcast so everybody will yeah. think you're a sexy mm. Irishman. Oh, that's enunciating. <laughs> I feel really weird. Like I, I can definitely tell since a year's worth of talking to people from America and being in a different county in uh, Bristol. Uh, I live in Bristol now, which is not where I Yay. come from. So I'm even closer you, to Druid. You don't live in Reading. It's not reading, reading. that's my writing <laughs> town. But, um, yeah, like, my accent has been slowly changing because of just the people that I communicate with all the time. <laughs> so everyone yeah, like in we're... Bristol that I go to, like, we all come from different places, so it's like a mix match of accents all the time from Britain. And then I go home, I talk to Americans all the time online or Belgians, uh, you know, or people from Brazil. And my accent is just kind of going like neutral now. It's really weird. I keep on saying water correctly. That shouldn't be happening when you come from Berkshire. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 are you supposed to say water? Well, my mum keeps on pointing out like every time I've gone shopping with her, she turns around and like, "Oh, do you need any water?" I'm like, "No, nah, I don't um... think I need any water like that." And she's like, <laughs> "What?" Like she's like, "I've completely changed <laughs> where I'm from." <laughs> She's like, be proud to be from Berkshire, you know, and to say it properly. And I'm like, I am. It's really funny because I used to do sales. So I'd go door to door to, and like try and sell them something. And everyone would be like, so I, I, where are you from? Are you are you from Canada, America? And they just want to say, but nobody in Ireland believes I'm Irish. And then when <laughs> the moment I leave the country, I was like, you're Irish, you have such a strong Irish accent. I'm like, make up your mind, universe. <laughs> <laughs> You're in between, <laughs> and like, and the thing is, my um, my dad spent twenty years in Germany, so he like the point is he grew up in like inner city Dublin, so uh, oh gosh, like, so the point wow. is like he had a really thick like Dublin accent where the point is that you can barely understand it, but you but since he's lived in Germany for twenty years, he completely lost it because there was actually a point in time where he was telling me where he actually nearly forgot how to speak English. Oh whoa. But, wow! So, so the wow. thing is, when he came when he came back to Ireland, he made sure like um. Uh, we moved actually back into Dublin and he wanted to make sure I didn't pick up a Dublin accent. So he always kept correcting me on my, uh, my, on my English. <laughs> not only that, not only that was it when we moved back from Germany to Ireland, I had a thick German accent. <laughs> I've always wondered Whoa. what like other country accents like England and 
um, Scotland and Ireland would sound like in other languages because like I can't picture it in my like it all. I, it's not that it yeah, all sounds the same. Even... It's just like it either sounds like the correct pronunciation of the language or it doesn't. But it um, just we managed to screw up the the uh, language in our own special way. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, how many accents and dialects do we have? We always fuck it up. <laughs> we should just get like a paragraph in another language, and we should all read it and compare. Um, that would be I, funny. I did this know... paragraph. <laughs> I do know in Korean. <laughs> I was Dutch, up... by the way. <laughs> I picked up a Seoul accent, a Seoul or Seoul accent. Seoul. Oh wow. Seoul. Yeah, well, it's because How did you pick up a soul accent? When I've been learning Korean, I have to get back to doing it. But like when I learn Korean, I learn it off of another podcast, and they are from Seoul. So like, like I just picked it up from them. That's my first example of hearing Korean, and I've actually heard someone say back to me, "It's like, oh, you've got a soul accent," and I'm like, "Do I?" <laughs> like. If that's a thing. I actually have an accent in a different country. That's cool. <laughs> you have another country's accent. Yeah. Wow. I probably, like, I probably, <laughs> I haven't been doing any Korean work for ages. But like, I think I showed off to Sparks a few weeks ago that I still oh, like yeah. writing in Korean, but I just don't say any words as much anymore. I need to get back to it. Annyeonghaseyo. 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 They just say hello to each other all the time. <laughs> how do you, you how do you say that? Yeah, you just screaming. What? How, how do you say it? Annyeong haseyo. Annyeong yeah. haseyo. And if you want to say goodbye, like, Annyeong haseyo. That is haseyo. 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 Annyeong haseyo. Haseyo. Annyeong haseyo. TJ, she gan yopsa. We should. She gan yopsa. Which means <laughs> there isn't much time. Did you want to do questions? <laughs> the question is, I added in English. So. <laughs> uh, sure. Is, there is no time. <laughs> um, am I doing? Am I? All right, I guess I'll find the questions. Yes, Mr. Admin. See, okay. this is why I opted not to be uh, an admin, so they have to do it. <laughs> admins are more work. Just, uh, just uh, definitely stall for time. Uh, stall, okay. stall, stall, stall. So I've been growing a beard this month. Yeah, really? I have a beard. I got a mustache again. I have to shave it <sighs> off though. It's getting annoying. I I started growing a beard, but I I couldn't make it. It was just too annoying. It's I stopped annoying. shaving. I stopped shaving for two weeks, and my beard is ridiculous. I really want want to take a photo and like send it to you guys for no reason. Sure. <laughs> I'm sad because I can't partake in this discussion, but because uh, you don't want to hear about my non-shaving habits. Well, you can always just get like get whatever hair you have on your head and just sort of like just try and like stick it on your face. I do have long <laughs> hair, so I can make a beard, I guess. Yeah. Fake um, message. Here's. Oh wait, do we need to do the intro questions? I think Lewis would be pissed if we didn't have it. Exactly. Okay. Um. Questions. There you go. Yeah, yeah that was good. I reckon Sonny should just come in, like, every podcast from now on and do it for us. Sonny, can you do it again? Okay. Questions. See, that is so much better than Luis's. He is going to crucify me now. <laughs> just had to have one person. Questions. Except I think I did mine a little... Anyway, uh, I know we don't normally do this on uh, podcasts where that person is on the podcast. However, is it me? Is it me? Yes, it's you. It's, it's, it's a question Aww. Sonny just posted that I. It's just too interesting. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Oh it's, yeah. It's actually a question posed in the form of a GIF by. Um, uh, it's a Gus Rolla GIF, so it's a question from the RG podcast. Um, oh why don't you just pee on someone? Because I would because get arrested. It's gross. <laughs> Isn't, it doesn't like pee Wait. actually ha like uh, help with certain things like it's like jellyfish uses, like almost like a dis disinfectant like something like that yeah things uh, jellyfish oh. things I mean okay. or bear grills but yeah drinking it <laughs> what if they're really thirsty into their mouth we oh. no you mm. stick it up your butt <laughs> wow <laughs> oh Christ wait that's nasty what okay. podcast is that from. 
I don't know. It's a, I oh wait. I don't know the name of it, but I remember the conversation vividly. It was um they were talking about peeing in the shower and whether or not it was like weird or not, you know. Gavin and Gus, I believe, were completely against it. But Barbara and um whoever else was on the podcast were like four. Peeing in the shower is totally normal. Yeah, they were they were like oh it's completely normal. Wait, okay, that's something uh that we could do right now. Do you think that's Pee gross? on each other? No, peeing in the shower. <laughs> like, do you guys pee in the shower? Because I can't. You know, I, just I, I think it yeah, depends. It depends on the actual drain in, in the shower. If it's one of those drains that just like it automatically goes away, it's fine. But I've had like I've had to take showers in places where it's almost like you're filling up the bath while you're taking yeah, that that's shower. Yeah, I've had those too. I don't do that there. <laughs> like, there's I no know. way I would do that to myself. It just I, ugh. I've never really had a problem. Uh, whoops, peeing in the shower. I've just like never really been in the situation lately where I've had to because I usually get all that stuff out of the way like beforehand. I'm like, yeah. okay, you're gonna take a shower. Oh, I'm in the bathroom anyway. Might as well go. Exactly. Yeah. And I'll get in the yeah. shower. Yeah, I've had times where I'm like in the shower and I'm like, well, all right, I get the urge like starting it and then go out. So if I'm middle of the shower, then it's then it's all right. Kind of sucks when you have to go number two in the shower. Yeah, oh, I don't God. do that. That's gross. Do you jerk <laughs> off in the shower? Do you jerk off in the shower, Sonny? That is a fantastic question. <laughs> that's uh, that's weird. I don't. What? I don't. I don't. No. Nah. I'm glad I'm not the but only you one. You get it clean. Yeah, everyone says that. Like the rare few people that I've had that conversation with, which is funny. Now that I've said that out loud, it makes it sound weird. Who am I having this conversation with? But like us. <laughs> When it's come up before with other friends and that, they're like, oh yeah, I joke off in the shower. And I'm like, how could you? Like, <laughs> I'm just like, no, that's weird. For no. <laughs> you use your showers to get clean, not... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we have Dirty another question? Dirty boy. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> All right, Segway um, going to something else. I, I guess this one is from... Um, it's Julius. Um, he says, how are you guys doing? Everything all right? That's a good question. Yeah, so how are you guys doing? Uh, well, uh, currently good, but otherwise, like no. Like, I'm not dead, so that's a plus. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I have all my appendages. That's also good as well. Um, I have an awesome beard, so that's good. Um, it's again. Yeah. Yes. Um, Tyler? I... Oh no! You can keep going, Drew. No, no, Tyler. Tyler can take this one. I'm just, I'm just. Well, I can't just... take it. Well, yeah, but no. say, I... you can take it, Sunny. I no, wasn't doing take anything. Sunny was lighting up his thing. I was just sat back, and everyone wanted me well, to I... say something. <laughs> well, Drew kept ranting on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. No, I'm joking. it's fine. <laughs> Sunny, just go. <laughs> go, Sunny. <laughs> go. <laughs> He's us, Sonny. <laughs> Jesus, so, that's funny. I'm basically the same level of fine as I always am because life is repeating itself every day for me. So, if anyone's noticing some audio issues, it's because people are constantly hitting the push to talk button to po- just talk with each other. Thanks, <laughs> Can we stop that? That is the yeah, weirdest yeah, yeah. sound. <laughs> we, will, we will. That's okay. weird. Oh, I didn't say about my day. Oh, I was going okay, I guess. I was... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't remember the full question, so I guess that's all you wanted to hear, right? Yeah, I think you just how you wanted doing? to hear how we're doing. I mean, I got a new car, so that's all right. That's a pretty good day. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but then the other car that kind of died, so that wasn't a good day. Yeah. At least you have an, a car to drive around, not like exactly. just like a broken car. Yeah. Mm. I, I had to take the bus. I had to take the bus in... Uh, we recently had like negative degree weather, uh, Fahrenheit, and uh, my car was broken the week of that terrible weather, so I had to take the bus. It was pretty miserable. Awkward silence. That sucks. Sorry, I, I was away from my keyboard for a split second, wandering around. I had my headphones on, so Why I did I not pay attention, Tyler? No, I, I was paying attention. I was just looking for food. <laughs> That's a good thing. 
You don't. You you take care of that stuff before the podcast, like me and my mini pizzas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had water. I mean, that was close. But I just forgot to grab like a chocolate bar. I forget how hungry I do. The, like when I do these podcasts, how hungry I get. So I guess right now I'm fine, but I'm fucking hungry. If you guys can send me like a Kit Kat bar, I'd be happy. It's water. <laughs> water. 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 I sound even water. more British by water. learning how to say water properly, so I should just say water. Yeah. And water everywhere. Yeah, water, water. water everywhere. <laughs> water, water oh, yeah, everywhere. Say, like, water. Time to drink it. Water. Three cups of water. Oh, do you mean those cups are for free? No, I meant three cups of water. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Never water. get me to sell that water. It looks like waiter. <laughs> water. <laughs> it's like the German way of saying Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Well, there's, there's, pe there's people in the chat just sort of saying different ways to say water. It's just yeah. uh, for, as an explanation to people accents. listening. Yes. Uh, should we do another question? Um, no. Yes. Okay. yes. Another one of mine, maybe. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> this one is from uh, Luis because he gave us questions. Uh, oh yeah. Answer. Oh yeah. I still yeah. forget that he gave us questions, considering he's yeah, been on we, so many. Tyler, it's probably a good idea if we all did that. You know, he's the only one that's actually been participating in that. Wait, I've given no. a question in. We all give a question yeah, on the podcast. Uh, not participating anyway. So, oh, I suppose yeah, you did. Thanks. Huh? Do what? Huh? 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 Do what? <laughs> what? aggressive. Do what now? What? 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 If you could choose one ranged weapon, one melee weapon, and one companion for any sort of apocalypse, zombie, fallout-like, or even ran out of ice cream scenario, what would your what would be your choices? Please specify what apocalypse would it be? Just hmm. okay. So I, I got this. I think so. Ice cream. Uh, the question was ran out of ice cream apocalypse, right? Does a spork count as a ranged and melee? Uh, maybe throwing sporks. Well, what if you could like launch the ice cream, well, whatever, from the spork? That'd be well, cool. Well, there's no ice cream. Are you saying that there's too much ice cream? Oh, a too so much ice cream apocalypse. So like everything <laughs> turns into ice cream? Delicious. Ice cream. Ice cream, cream monsters running, running around. For ice cream. <laughs> Every person we, that gets infected turns into ice cream. Delicious, delicious ice cream. Oh, God. They just kept turning mm. into ice cream. Damn it. That would be horrible and delicious at the same time. Like, when it actually <laughs> sets in, you're like, no! What if it you was would some... get so sick of ice cream. What if, it was, exactly. what if it was just ice cream, but it just... Ta it was ice cream, but it just tasted like whatever it turned in... Whatever it was made out of originally. Oh, That's awful! Oh, no! <laughs> mm. oh. Human Red flesh ice flavored ice cream. <laughs> Car flavored ice cream. Car flavored... <laughs> Rust mm, it tastes like the arsenic. <laughs> Asbestos. Mm. Wow, this ice cream tastes like cat. Oh, Mr. Tibbles. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Die, wow. potato. Potato. Right. It like? It's so the, the type of apocalypse, range weapon, and then uh, melee weapon? Oh, and, and, companion. and companion. Companion. Sparks never you didn't do a, compa a companion, Oh, I didn't. Doctor. Um, oh, my goodness. Who could I choose a companion? That can Me, be an anybody. ice cream cone? An ice cream cone? Hmm. A unicorn with an ice cream cone horn. Ooh, yeah. That's unique. I like the way you're thinking. Thanks. Should we go down the list? Force sure. Druid to do it on the spot. Come on, Druid. <laughs> think. Oh, shit. Wait, think of my apocalypse? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, weapons go, and companions. Lightning round, lightning it's round. It's basically books coming back, back to life and killing people would be my apocalypse. Oh, um, how, how do books come back to life? Books? They have spines. Thing is, they, the thing is, they they died in the previous apocalypse the book because did. it was it is the second rising again. So we have in, like infrastructure in place to fight the the what? book uprising. But the thing is, my so um, but the things we weren't ready because they betrayed us. But anyway, so the thing is, my range weapon would be um, it would be a flame chore because books are flammable. Oh. Uh, my my melee weapon what if, would be a what lightsaber. What books? Yeah. Well, electronics. Th that's. That'd be Skynet esque type of thing, and I'm talking about like the old libraries because readings for nerds. You don't have any like Kindles flying. At you? I know. I love. I love reading. Me too. <laughs> I'm. This is this is why it's an apocalypse because that means I just wouldn't be able to read like anything again, and it would slowly destroy me inside as I go mad. Uh... Unless you killed them and then read them. 
And then my companion would be the one good book that like didn't turn against the human race, and that'd be probably be like I don't know the Fifty Lord of the Rings trilogy. What is that movie <laughs> that um, the books come alive and like uh, the Page Master? That is it. I've seen it. I have not I seen. I like that. that movie. It's it's a kids movie, like animated Disney, I think. Yeah, I used to like that movie, but now I don't remember because it's been like ten years. It's, oh, it's pretty creepy. That. Like so the kid goes is... into the library and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's weird. All right, this Sonny. is beautiful. Before Sonny does his, this is interesting. The people outside my room are louder than you guys that are literally in my headphones right now. Really? Yeah. Maybe we I, need to talk closer. No, no, you don't need to. Yeah. But I'm just waiting for them to start off again. Leroy! Jenkins. I'm just waiting to try and capture them so you guys can hear the shenanigans. So what are they, what are they talking weird. about? I, all I hear is this random yelling outside. It's weird. Hey, Tyler. Yes, DJ. Maybe not cut Sunny off again. Sorry, Sunny. But Sunny hadn't started. Sunny? Okay. See? I can talk now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry, back Sunny. to our last topic. Just kidding. Okay. So now I can talk. While yes. no one else is talking. <laughs> So my apocalypse is when everyone else talks over you. Uh, <laughs> We're all dead. Yeah, all of us. How would that be an apocalypse? Oh, you did it again. How is ice cream right an apocalypse? How are books an apocalypse? Good point. I don't know. So how would you kill us? He's in that apocalypse right now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. How would you kill us? What? Uh, mute button. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Is that is that ranged or melee though? M ranged, probably. Yeah, that's yeah, ranged. Hmm. Well, my companion. Hmm. My own echo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I was wow, expecting like you to say. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could you hear that? Yeah. That was really funny. <laughs> They're laughing at your jokes, Sonny. Shout out to that guy, featured on the podcast. <laughs> Guest number six. He He's the companion. <laughs> That's what your echo sounds like, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, is it me now? Yes. Up to Sonny. Is, is Sonny done? I don't want to talk over him and then cut him off. <laughs> I am done. Yay! Um, I'm going to be boring. Now we're just, just... going to talk over Tyler for the rest of yeah, the podcast, feel free. right, guys? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tyler <laughs> doesn't <laughs> get an apocalypse. I Tyler reckon... Like oh, that's a good Why? thing. I, I would rather have not... any. Uh, that confused me and you guys stopped talking over me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. My apocalypse would just be a vanilla, you know, casual... Vanilla ice cream? No, that's already been taken. Yeah, I was going to say vanilla. boring boring like zombie textbook? apocalypse. Just textbook. a boring zombie apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse, yeah. Range I weapon... don't think it would be boring. Only boring people turn to zombies? I, I meant boring. So Tyler's the only Jeez. zombie. <laughs> like, like, I meant boring because oh, it's like, you know, everyone weird. thinks of an apocalypse goes to zombies. The original. But, um, dear God, these guys outside are actually making it harder for me to Just think. run out and tell them to shut the fuck up. Be an old yeah, person. Uh, Get off my lawn! <laughs> it would help if, like, they probably live here as well. But, um, my zombie apocalypse, my range weapon will probably be a crossbow just because I can, like, probably pick up anything and use it, you know, within that. I don't think I don't that's... I think that, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll pick up my <laughs> ammunition again and use twigs oh, okay. and shit. It would be fire actually twigs really... at people. Like, eh, eh, yeah. I'm gonna throw a twig at you. Eh. And it would be really bad to like, like go up and pick out the bows again, I guess. But regardless, can you wow. shut the fuck <laughs> up? Jesus Christ! <laughs> just, just strip naked and run out there and just scare everybody away. Yeah, that would scare everyone. Or unfortunately, because <laughs> this is idea. a town covered in students, probably be an, an actual occurrence. Um. Range weapon would probably just be. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not planning on. 
Oh, is it? You... <laughs> See, this has made it hard for me to think now. <laughs> this is how to stop someone from doing the podcast. You yell outside the fucking window. Um, yeah, it's hard but... to talk when people talk over you. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably like a throwing knife or something. I'm not. I'm not planning on using ranged because uh, my companion. We'll sort everything else out for me. Um, a dog. A dog. Tell me the Liberty Prime. Prime. Dog Liberty me. Prime. Liberty Prime. Everyone's trying to guess my companion. <laughs> He's the Dragon Slayer. Uh, nice. I'll get Danny Sexbang. Danny Sexbang will Who sort everything that? out. Who is Danny Sexbang? One, one of the Game Grumps. Sorry? Oh, oh okay. I, yeah. I don't watch Game Grumps. That way, me if neither. the apocalypse fails neither I. and neither we both I. die, it will be funny. <laughs> ah. And I get to right die next to the unicorn it. wizard. Nice. And you know, get to see the big peppermint creams in the sky. There Just we go. Keep thinking of Lucy in the sky with diamonds from the Beatles, <laughs> but with peppermint creams. Tyler yes. in the sky with peppermint creams. <laughs> peppermint Tyler creams in the, in the sky, sky and with peppermint ice cream on the things. ground. TJ, well, I, I guess it's yours. <laughs> Um, Guns will kill okay, you. I've thought about this uh, not at oh. all since the question was asked, so Bravo. I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, I'll go with it's a. a I will go with an even more generic apocalypse and just go with a straight up apocalypse. Like uh, let's <laughs> say right. biblical. Let's say, biblical? Uh, nah, too biblical. I guess I don't know. Just, just like the world breaks into chaos, like anarchy. You know. Road warriors. Economic stuff. crisis. Like yeah. the Book of Eli. Yeah. Like the people outside my fucking Global window. Warming. I've gone away now after let's, my fucking Mad thing's Max. gone. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's go with global warming. So let's say, like, <laughs> uh, the world has gone to shit. Uh, my ranged weapon would be a... Huh, if it can be anything. Real good. Global warming gun? <laughs> <laughs> I shoot just... global warming at people. <laughs> Why would you need weapons? Like... It, would, it would just it would just shoot Al Gore at people. <laughs> that would be a good weapon. It's, a, it's an Al Gore launch. You can only fire people named Al Gore. <laughs> um, you know, I'll go with the Al Gore launcher for my ranged weapon. Nice. And then for my melee weapon, I want the uh, dildo bat from Saints Row the Third. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, and my companion would be. Uh, the dildo oh, bat oh. again. I know. My companion would be uh, Trevor from Grand Theft Auto V. I want to get nice. the dubstep gun as one of my weapons. <laughs> Those are really pretty, actually. Yeah. Like, oh, that's so pretty. I'm dead. <laughs> Look, people party into it, and then they just get hit by it. <laughs> Like people in the next room, they're like, "Wow, what is that amazing sound?" The door just blasts open, and they're dead. It's like mobs <laughs> to a flame. Drop the b! Ah! <laughs> wow, they come back. By the way, like I heard oh, them go boy. away, but now they're back. <laughs> Hello, See people outside Talia's window. <laughs> God damn. Uh, do you guys want to do another question, or do you think those two were lasted long enough? Uh, we had three, didn't we? Three. I guess we can do three. I'll have to find a third. No, didn't we do three? We had three. Did we? Did yeah, we this is our third one. Oh, we did. Oh, yeah, we're done. Bye, guys. Yeah. No, just kidding. I don't know. Audience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, if you had godlike ultimate powers, what would you do with it? Oh, that's Ooh. difficult. Oh. Oh. Okay, huh. so you would jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> All, all, the, all of a sudden, it just starts snowing in Antarctica. Eh? 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 Oh god, I Wait, just understood what? your Something's... thing there. <laughs> it's a sex it's... thing. Yeah, because oh, okay. you're joking off. It's snowing in Antarctica. It's snow. Okay. Uh... You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> Crying you know nothing, Jon Snow. Way to class up the ending of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, Bravo. jizz. Jizz everywhere. In yeah, the... everywhere. It's in the shower. It's on the it's bathroom. In. Apparently not your guys'. Everywhere. It's in Antarctica now. Antarctica. So any answers to the question? Those poor or? penguins. That's what it's oh. for the audience. No, we can answer them if it's a, you know. Yeah, we usually answer them, so. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll think of something. 
I wanted to not think. <laughs> I would just not go to work or do anything. I'd probably make <laughs> infinite money for myself. Why would yeah. you need money if you can make anything for yourself? Godlike power, infinite money. <laughs> <laughs> I would do I a lot of places. I can literally make a TV up here. I'm just going to make money and then go out and buy a TV. <laughs> I'm going to get make money and get start giving it to people. I'm a Way to ruin the economy. And then screw with them. What if you could go well, out to the, like, the universe and then like find different planets if you could survive in space? That's what I would do. I would love to go exploring like the universe. I wouldn't yeah. go exploring like as a human, but if I was a god, then I would totally do it. Because space is scary as a human. Hmm. Nah, I would make I would make like think a mass I, effect I, ship and then just get like all of you guys. I'd pick you up in your countries and we just go explore yay. the galaxy. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's get a heights. TJ and why don't you space. remove your own fear of heights? <laughs> As a god, you could do that. What I would have uh, would be the ability to to stop time, but still able to use like the things that I could activate if you know what i mean like the world and everything my aging would stop like everything stops so but anything relativity. i touch yeah everything i touch can still be used because everyone thinks like oh that's a really perverted power to have because you know you can freeze time with essays and things to edit and uni and projects and work you know i would love to be able to freeze time to be like okay i want to watch a youtube video <laughs> you know, well, you know, I just want to songwrite a hundred songs and then unstop time. So, like, it's been a second, and I've written fifty so hours. So you have the powers of God, and you're still working on school. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you Why just not? zap that stuff done? Yeah. Because I'd rather do it. Otherwise, I'll get I will get just bored if I didn't do it. Well, that makes sense, I guess. You could also download the YouTube clips right into your brain. You can yeah. make YouTube. Clips. You can do anything. Exactly. Sure, he does. Imagine that, though, like YouTube clips, like someone uploading more than like 50 hours worth of stuff in like a day, <laughs> like doing it live as well. That would just be weird. Wouldn't being able to stop time just be like the most elaborate prank ever? If like if that person who did that just went to all 7 billion people in the world and they just took off all their clothes. It's like See, all that's of a what everyone goes out. to. Everyone <laughs> goes to that when they, everyone says like, uh, well, most when anyone people says... Go Freezing Most people time. Go to just like, you know, oh, I'm just going to look at these girls naked. No, I think it would be funny if just like 7 billion people are all of a sudden just naked in front of each other. You do That'd understand like you could you could probably like do trying to do a prank because you'd be trying to go to everyone on the planet. You could probably die at some point in trying to do that because you'd be going all well, around the world or you die of old age. He yeah, Tyler die. said that he can freeze time and he doesn't age. The only oh, okay, way you yeah. would die would be if you fuck up royally and like end it. No, that's what, that's what I mean, like... Like if you fell into a, a volcano, or... <laughs> you don't just have one power; you have all the powers. Yeah, you could protect yourself from anything. Yeah, but it's oh, mostly you ride, like one. the whole. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I guess you're just omnipotent. You can pretty much just snap your fingers and make what's in your mind happen. Right, yeah. you wouldn't have to go to them. Yeah, you you could just be like, snap, everybody's naked, job done. Just watch sit back and laugh. <laughs> just watch the news coverage Almighty for the next couple so. days. What do you think they would call that day? End watch day? the population rise like nine Dialer months day. later oh as gosh, well. Of course. It's like, well, we're all naked. We might as well fuck. No, I'm not saying it would be like Up that. But imagine two people <laughs> awkwardly dating. You know, two people awkwardly dating. Uh, don't know how to uh -oh. move things along, and that First happens. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that. Would be weird. Imagine a that at like, a, at like a speed dating thing. Imagine oh that at a gosh. funeral. <laughs> that would be harsh. Someone's funeral. And oh, like, God. Everyone's oh. naked. <laughs> God. I met someone trying to tell that you someone else. You could bring the like, dead guy back to life. Died. So. Oh, you know what yeah. would be bad? If you did that and like, you know, if you picture it in your mind, you're just like, everybody naked now. You snap your fingers. What about the astronauts in space? <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> but everybody on Earth, though, they're not on Earth. Except I didn't think yeah, about that people until underwater afterwards. diving. So if I had oh. evidence, then I would accidentally probably kill a couple people. Probably. <laughs> it can always bring them back to life. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, 
Yeah, I could do that. Be like, oop, my bad. Snap. There was actually a Futurama episode where Bender becomes kind of god to this, like, civilization, and he actually meets the god nebula. Forget what the quote is, but, um, like, there's the god nebula teaches Bender how to become god or something weird. Yeah, if, like, if, you do, if you do nearly nothing, uh, people wonder if you did anything at all. Exactly. Mm. Something like that. Like you, you do enough to make people think you didn't, you didn't do anything at all. Oh yeah, because yeah. he said, "Oh, I'm not gonna help." Or they were asking God to save them because they were like trapped in a room, and Bender's like, "I'll save you," because I know God won't. And it's like sometimes people don't think you've done anything at all, <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> I thought that that's was brilliant. Like meta. That's what I want to do. Just do little things to push people along, and then not get any of the glory. You, you think being omnipotent would be lonely? Nah. No. God, yeah. Well, yeah, actually. You should just live among the people, like normal. There, there, there was actually an anime me. series kind of like that. Really? Yeah, it was. Uh, you imagine Jesus. being like omnipotent. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Jesus uh, in anime? It, no, it was Jesus in the Buddha in Buddha, anime. Wasn't it? They were living yeah. as normal people as a vacation. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it was actually pretty interesting. I don't remember what it was called, but Google. It, it was pretty interesting. One of my, one of my friends uh, showed me that. Anyway, you think it's time for us to wrap up on the note of G- <laughs> anime Jesus yeah. and Buddha? Uh, yeah, this is a good note to end it on. <laughs> I was looking it up and I typed Jesus and mm-hmm. Google. <laughs> Jesus and Google. Jesus is Google. <laughs> Google is actually the omnipotent. He has God. all the answers. Um. Yeah. Saint Young Men? That's it. I'm sure. It's got to be, right? Maybe? That's I, it. I, like I said, I don't remember. I'm 100% sure that's it. Can you Google yep, Do a Barrel Roll? Yeah, that's it. I love that. <laughs> I just Googled it. Alright, well, that was another episode of the Shifty, po- Shifty Key Podcast, everybody. Well done. Uh, thank you for watching. And, uh... Tune in next week for some more shenanigans. Maybe Luis will be there. Maybe I'll be there instead, filling in his role because he's a punk. Ba, 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 da, ba. <laughs> yeah, Luis. <laughs> yeah, Luis. I mean, bye. Like, having Cut to do off, work Tyler. and stuff. I mean, that's terrible. How could you do bye. something like that? Sucks, dude. Bye. 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 Stop trying to make me get even. Bye. Bye. How would you even do bye. something? Bye. Thanks for listening to the Shifty Key Podcast. The intro and outro music is provided to us by our editor, TDB Tyler. To get more involved with the Shifty Key Podcast, you can answer the questions for the audience asked by our guests, or even ask the cast a question of your very own, either here in the YouTube comments or in our Rooster Teeth group. To keep updated with this channel's shenanigans, you can follow us on Twitter, join and watch our group on Rooster Teeth, or simply subscribe. All links will be in the description. Until next week, goodbye. Bye. 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 I did that on purpose, guys. Sonny's not saying bye. On that. Stop, everybody, <laughs> stop cutting off Sonny. He's trying to say bye. Goodbye. There we go. I, I did that on purpose, by the way, so I'm going to fade it off with just like a massive rant. <laughs> and everyone's saying bye. Uh. I can edit Sonny's bye in there. No. Uh-huh. no, 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 no. I think I think I like it better as like the last one, and then maybe fade out. It just sort yeah, of... that's way better. It is okay. Fine, like I'll do something. Don't worry, I'll tidy Peer it up. Obey my commands. Okay, Peer so oh, pressure, peen, pressure, peen, pressure. What? Yeah, I, what? <laughs> Did you guys want to go play Town of Salem? Heck yeah. Um, sure. You guys can. I promised some friends I was going to do the raid with them on Destiny. <laughs> See, you're just a punk. Friends. Bitch. Yeah. TJ, how dare you? Plus, I might have to help my mom. We're packing stuff up because we're getting ready to move. I, I just need to quickly help my mom with something like for five minutes, and then I could probably join in. I can yeah, I'll it. get food for. A little bit. I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah I'll, I hope I'll find, know that. I, I might just blow them off on doing the rated on hard because sound Salem sounds like more fun. <laughs> TJ's yeah. like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, we're gonna do this they, now. They'll they'll get over it. I hope you do even, even though I'm literally the one. <laughs> I'm literally the one. <laughs> they, I, they, they don't listen to this. Although I literally did tell them today that I, I'm on this podcast, and I told them the name. But oh god, oh. they're gonna listen to this <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> well, they're gonna listen to it a week from now, so it doesn't really matter. 
Yeah. I... Did it, did it, did it, did it.